Hello, this is Paul with the Whiting Team. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the seven steps of selling. There's uh, step one, reason for selling. Step two, cost of selling. Three, price. Four, location. Five, condition of your property. Six, staging. And seven, accessibility. It's often more emotional to sell a home than to buy a home. And the reason for selling your home may be a determining factor in the urgency of the sell. The urgency may also have an effect on the price of the property. <clears throat> it's important to take the following factors that can influence the sale of your home into consideration. One, the reason for selling. Second, the price. Third, location. Fourth, condition of the property. Fifth, the size, design, style, and accessibility. So step two is uh, the cost of selling. It's very important to first calculate the expenses that might be incurred while selling your home. Um, that's where we come in and we're able to, to give you a very good analysis of your property and then be able to give you a net sheet. This knowledge is absolutely necessary because it helps you to determine a good price for the house as well as the potential profit that you can realize. So the cost of selling your home may include things like uh, commission to be paid to the agent, taxes, advertising costs, or specific reports such as property inspections or uh, home warranties. Now, step three is the price. Now, the most important factor when putting your home on the market to sell is setting the right price. The price at which your property is marketed can make or break the deal. Uh, we're, we feel very fortunate uh, because we've been in this business for over 20 years. We have enough experience in this marketplace to be able to pinpoint the price pretty darn well. In fact, uh, we've sold every listing that we've listed, and that's the reason why. So overpricing of the property may result in a smaller buyer's pool uh, or a, a prolonged stay on the market that eventually results in lower offers uh, being submitted. So the other problem is underpricing of the property, and that might result in you losing money on your investment and a buyer offering an even lower amount due to a negative perception of the property or area, like what's wrong with the home? Why is it listed so low? Step four is uh, location, although you cannot do anything about the location of your property. It plays a very important part in the marketability of your home, so it's important to take the following into consideration. Is your property priced in relation to other offers in your area? What type of neighborhood is your property located in? Well-established, up-and-coming, transitional? Is your property located in an urban or rural area? Step five, condition of your property. The condition of your property is always a factor in how quickly your home sells, it's a fact, acquiring the highest market value and elevating your home above the others in the same price range often comes down to first impressions. Here are some inexpensive ways to maximize your home's curb appeal. First, keep the grass cut and yard clutter to a minimum. Uh, apply fresh paint to any wooden fences and your front door. Clean windows inside and out. Wash or paint your home's exterior. Ensure gutters and other exterior fashions are firmly attached. So step six, staging. Did you know well-placed furniture can open up rooms and make them seem larger than they are? Or that opening drapes and blinds and turning on lights make a room seem bright and cheery? It's true, which is why staging your home to look at its, its absolute best is an important factor in the selling process. Here are some inexpensive ways to highlight your home's best features. Clean or paint walls and ceilings. Clean all floorings and fixtures, lights and fans. Repair all plumbing leaks, remove excessive wall hangings, furniture and extra personal goods, turn on all lights and open the drapes during the daytime, and play quiet background music and infuse your home with a comforting scent. Vacate the property when and if it's being shown to prospective buyers. Uh, when the buyers come to your home, they don't want you there. Uh, I, I think I offended someone yesterday telling them that, but you know, when you go to buy a home, you want to go in, you want to be able to sit at the front at the table and look around and imagine that it's yours without feeling uncomfortable in that home. So step seven, accessibility. Accessibility is a major issue in many parts of the world. Again, you cannot do anything about your home's accessibility to specific things, but it does play a role in the price of your property. And uh, one of our agents will work with you to highlight the places of interest that are most accessible to your home. Here are a few important areas to think about. One, the public transportation. Two, the main roads. Three, the shopping centers, schools, and other educational institutions. Outdoor areas, public pools, parks, playgrounds, entertainment. 
And that's why we specialize in our specific marketplace to be able to add that additional dimension to your selling process. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, have a great day.